This instructional video will demonstrate how to use Hess's law to determine a delta H value for a target reaction when you're given a set of working reactions where each of their delta H values are known. In order to do this, we have to first verify that the target reaction is, in fact, properly balanced, which in this case it is. At that point, we determine what manipulations are necessary to each of the working reactions to get the appropriate number of moles for each uh, portion of our reaction and make sure that they are on the correct side of the yield zero as either reactants or products. So the first thing we want to do is get our NO2 in the correct place. And if I take reaction A and multiply by negative one, effectively reversing everything, I'll have two moles in the correct location. So reaction A times a negative one gives two NO2 gas as a reactant. And so this gives me two NO2 gas plus seven hydrogen gas yields two ammonia and four water. I can next move to my products. I need one mole of nitrogen and reaction B has that already in place. It has it both in the correct amount and location. So because I have my one mole of nitrogen as a product, I only need to multiply reaction B by one, in effect leaving it alone, and this will give me 2H3 gas, the nitrogen gas as the product that I was looking for, and uh, 3 moles of hydrogen gas. So the last thing I need is 2 moles of oxygen as a product. Reaction C has one half mole of oxygen as a reactant, and this requires me to do two things in one step. I can multiply by a negative number to reverse reactants and products with each other, and I can scale up the size of this reaction. So I'll need to multiply everything by negative four. And this will give me what I need, two moles of oxygen gas as a product. And so in this case, while it is transcription, we want to make sure that we do it properly. So I will have 4 times 1, which is 4 waters as a reactant. 4 times 1 gives me 4 hydrogens as a product. And 4 times 1 half gives me the 2 oxygens as a product that I was looking for. At this point, I've done all of the manipulations necessary to the working reactions to get everything that was desired in the target reaction. And now I only need to combine and cancel. So using green, I can verify that two moles of NH3 are reactants and two moles of it are products. So those will cancel. Using the blue pen, I can verify that I have four waters as reactants to cancel four waters as product. And using the red, I can show that by combining three moles of hydrogen as product and four moles of hydrogen as product, I have enough to cancel the seven moles of hydrogen as reactants. So with all of these cancellations done, it's now straightforward to demonstrate that I have my target reaction back with the correct quantities of everything, as well as the correct location with respect to being a reactant or a product. Because I've passed this check step, now I only have to apply these same manipulations 
to the delta H values and add them all up. So the delta H for our target reaction then is going to be negative 1 times the delta H for reaction A plus 1 times the delta H for reaction B plus negative 4 times the delta H for reaction C. So with a bit of typing into your calculator, you can determine that the value for delta H for this reaction should come out to 57.5 kilojoules. And this is how you use Hess's law to determine the delta H value for a target reaction, given that you have working reactions with known uh, changes in enthalpy.